Okay, so here is the fermentation chamber. And we're gonna go up here, take a look. So we have the giant heat exchanging air box there. We have our coolant lines coming in. We have some our electrical right there. In the back is the little compressor that uh, we installed and filled it with 134. And the electrical goes from inside there, goes all the way down to that little panel where the old controller sat. And then we installed our own little controller. And this used to be a defrost switch, which is now a light switch. Um, so we're going to turn it on and Nick is going to tell us all about it here. Hi. Right, so this is the STC-1000. Um, I got the European model, so it displays in Celsius. Um, so you can uh, set the degree, so I have it set up at 22.8, which is around 73 degrees. <clears throat> I'm going to have uh, one degree of variation, so it can go up and down by a degree. Uh, you can also custom set all your own temperatures, so you can you know, go up or down. And then like the perfect temperature for um, fermenting beer is going to be right around 20 degrees Celsius. So right there, and it'll start to cool. But I'll give it a minute, um, so it doesn't uh, kill the compressor by continuously going, 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 and then in about 60 seconds it'll turn on the air conditioner. You want to show us inside your giant box? Yes, absolutely. Right now I have some bottles that are being bottle conditioned for carbonation. Uh, flip on that light. Uh, so are these bottles, they're being kept at a perfect temperature. Uh, so you can actually see. So we had a set at uh, 23.4. Those are sitting at 23.5. Some different bottles. So it's, uh, it's definitely doing its job. Do you want to show us the uh, the heating aspect of it? Yeah, actually. So what I can do is, in order to heat, it's actually, it's already dropped like almost half a degree. So you set. Save it, then instantaneously start to heat. And that fan in the back is going to be running constantly. So as it, as the heating element heats up, it'll circulate the air back around. So you can heat and cool depending on what time of year it is, depending on what temperature you want it to hold at. That's the STC-1000, so it's a pretty nifty little system. Should start raising here pretty soon. Oh, that cool air has to be setting up there. We're using the defrosting circuit for the evaporator, which is Probably about 1500 watt big old nichrome heating element um, used to defrost the evaporator. This was a freezer um, and uh, heats up pretty good. Look at that. It's going. You want to grab the heat gun and measure the uh, output vent? Yeah. Yeah, so it's putting out almost exactly the temperature that I need. Cool. Thank you, Nick, for sharing. Oh, no problem.